setting up text-to-speech for your live streaming chats in under 90 seconds. Let's go! To make this happen, we are using the Restream Chat app, which you can download using the link in the video description down below. The chat app is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. And in my case, we're just downloading the Windows application. And once the application is downloaded, we're simply going to install it. And once the application is installed, we simply have to log in into our Restream account. If you don't have a Restream account already, that's not a problem. You can simply click the Create Account button and then you can sign up for either a free Restream account or a premium one. And if you want to go for a premium one, use the link in the video description down below because that gives you a seven day free trial of the professional plan. Once you're logged into the Restream chat app, we have to tell the chat app what live stream chats to pull from. And to do this, we simply click onto this link, which brings us to the Restream dashboard. And this is the destination section. In here, we're going to tell Restream what chats to read from. So to add a new channel, you simply go to add channel. So in my case, we would go with Twitch and then you simply connect Restream to Twitch. I already did this and this is my Twitch account. In order to read the chat from my Twitch account, I now have to enable this entry. And if we go back to our chat app, we have to do one last thing before we can start reading chat messages. And this is we have to go to settings and then notifications. In the notification settings, we have to enable enable text to speech. So with that done, let's close this and go over to my Twitch chat and test if this already worked. Hello world. Hello world. So you just hear it and saw it. It works, so stop the clock. And I want to use this time to explain a little bit more what the Restream chat app can also be used for. So we just saw how easy it is to connect a Twitch account. And the cool thing is, if you have multiple accounts connected to your Restream chat app, you can also use the Restream chat app to chat back to the people. So let's say I write, hello everyone. And if I would have multiple channels connected, this message would be sent to all the channels as if I on the channel would have posted this as you can see I just posted hello through the app all right so we just saw how easy it is to do this using twitch but I want to also show you how to do this using the YouTube live stream chat because that requires one additional step which might be not as obvious if you do it the first time so on YouTube I created an unlisted YouTube live stream I did this by going to the YouTube live studio and create a new scheduled live stream. In order to now grab this live chat into our Restream chat app, we have to do the following. We have to go to the Restream dashboard again, and we of course have to enable our YouTube account. But in addition to that, we have to click on this configuration icon and then say edit settings. In here, under event, we have to decide which chat we want to pull. This is because YouTube can have multiple live streams and therefore multiple chats at the same time. So I created this test stream for a YouTube video and let's select that and scroll down to the save button. And once the settings are saved, we can go back to the YouTube live stream and enter a new message, which will be read. Hello, this is a text to speech test sent by YouTube chat. And this is how simple it is to use this. And now where we have two separate channels connected to the Restream chat app, we can also decide if we want to send a message to only one of the two channels. So let's say I want to send only back to YouTube and say, hey, YouTube chat, that works just fine. And we can do the same thing, of course, with Twitch, or if we go for Restream, we're gonna send it to both channels at the same time. All right, this was how to use the Restream chat app to have a text to speech of your live stream chat. And if you want to learn more about the Restream chat app, we did another video about this in which I talked about how you can use the chat app to display chat messages from all the different live streaming services in your live stream. If you want to check that out, that should be now somewhere up there in the info card. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and if you like what you just saw, feel free to subscribe to this channel or at least give me a like, all right? Cool, so as I said, I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. We do regular live streams in which we also use that tool. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do this. And we are now on the end card. So in case you haven't already, feel free to press one of those lovely videos which are currently displayed on this screen. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see ya. Bye.